Yo, what is going on guys? It is Ugly Face Gaming here and welcome to another Dragon Ball discussion type video. And before this video actually starts, I do want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys who have been participating and sending me some awfully generous messages. I honestly didn't think that many of you guys would actually stick with me till the very end and not just be here for the giveaway. Like I was saying, I actually do read the comments and most of you guys are being so supportive and I honestly cannot thank you guys enough for being supportive. Like, I honestly thought that once, you know, this whole giveaway thing was happening that you guys were just going to leave me and whatnot, but you guys didn't and you guys said you guys were going to stick around, which honestly, I am really, really happy that you guys are going to be sticking around for this long and we're actually really, really close to 400 subscribers like we were saying congratulations to 300 but we're almost there to 400 which is really really crazy but like I'm saying, thank you guys so much. And if you guys haven't heard about the giveaway, I'll be linking it at the end of this one. This giveaway is a lot more simpler. All you have to do is comment. So I'll leave that at the end of this video for all of you guys who want to check it out if you want to participate. But with that being said, let us get into this discussion type video. And for today's video, we're going to be discussing everything that happened within episode 125, I believe. The one that just came out in Dragon Ball Super. And we're kind of going to be talking about Topo in general because my goodness is Topo just so overpowered at this point because if you guys haven't looked at episode 125 or watched it they actually showed Topo becoming a god of destruction and it's really really crazy how he became a god of destruction just by empowering himself with this whole thing about not caring about justice anymore that it's just all foolish talk for him at that point which is pretty crazy to see Topo do something like that because obviously this whole time since we met Topo he's been all about justice and whatnot and even Jiren never falls to that you know low level of not caring about justice anymore and seeing how Topo did it to become the god of destruction it's really really crazy to see how he actually did it and he transformed beautifully that character design that he has right now just simplifies the body structure of a god of destruction and it's really crazy because Jiren is said to be stronger than the god of destruction and within this episode we saw Topo using his full out power of god of destruction which is crazy because we've never seen like a god actually go full out like Topo did. Topo using his Hakai everywhere, even trapping Frieza because Frieza thought he was actually able to keep, you know, that Hakai away from him like he did with Universe 9's Hakai. But obviously Topo's was way, way stronger, way more overpowering. And it even kind of knocked Frieza out. It made Frieza go from his normal, his golden form to his normal form. So that was a really, really powerful Hakai that he used. Like no one saw that coming and no one saw Frieza actually being, you know, knocked out in that way. And within this episode, we kind of felt bad for Frieza like he was getting demolished and Topo just crushing him with his hand like his head like it was just something we've never seen anything happen to Frieza before and that's just to show how strong a god of destruction can be so how much stronger is Jiren because we've been told that Jiren is stronger than the god of destruction this whole time even Topo saying that Jiren is way stronger than him so if Topo was able to crush Frieza that easily to take out not well I, I, he hasn't taken out Android 17 just yet but we could kind of see that he is going to be taking him out because 17 is throwing his key blast but with you know uh, Topo's Hakai around him, the Hakai Aura, he's basically destroying anything that touches him, which obviously within this episode, it was just beautifully animated, like the way everything just turned into like sick particles, like it was just really, really cool, like you guys should literally watch that episode if you haven't done so, like it's just extremely crazy how this happens, but we could see that Topo, like I'm saying, was able to take out Frieza and most likely is going to be able to take out Android 17, so if Topo is able to do that and Jiren is stronger than the God of destruction how much stronger can you know Jiren actually be and that kind of you know if you guys saw the preview we are going to see Topo versus uh I believe it was Vegeta so we're going to be getting that fight next but at the same time Vegeta I don't think he's going to be able to take out Topo because Topo is using 100% power God of Destruction right now and when Vegeta fought Beerus Beerus wasn't using that much of his power like at all so we don't really know how strong Beerus actually is compared to God of Destruction Topo so if we actually see what's going on Vegeta might not be able to stand a chance. I mean, obviously, yeah, he does have his new form and everything, but at the same time, he doesn't really have that much within him to actually take out Topo. And we see that he might be fighting Topo by himself. We have no mention of Goku. We have no mention of Jiren or Android 17. And obviously not Frieza, since Frieza was actually pretty much almost knocked out by the end of this episode. So we could kind of guess that Vegeta's going to be doing this alone. But does Vegeta's new power, this, you know, Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan Blue, or Mastered Super Saiyan Blue, whatever it actually is, is that enough to actually take out Topo? And that's going to be crazy because this is it. Like, the Tournament of Power is coming to an end and we don't really know what exactly is going to be happening because these two are just getting 
even stronger than they once were like who's going to be able to stop these guys it's going to be really crazy to see how exactly they actually take down these you know two people because we've never seen anyone as strong as topo and G well, especially jiren we've never seen anyone actually that strong so it's going to be crazy and all of us are kind of anticipating how exactly they're actually going to defeat these guys because these guys are just beyond you know power like their power scaling once the tournament of power started has just been completely broken at up to this point but what do you guys actually, you know, think about this? Do you guys think there's a chance that they might actually be able to take down Topo? Because obviously, you know, when it comes to Jiren, they're going to need everyone for Jiren, which is going to be crazy to see how they actually take out Jiren. And with, you know, Topo using his Kaka his Kakai, his Hakai, like, how are they even going to be able to touch him? Because they're going to have to do, you know, direct attacks to him. As we saw within the episode, you know, Key Blasts do nothing against Topo. So it's going to be crazy to see how exactly they actually bring this up and how they're actually going to defeat him because I don't see any way of beating Topo at this point and let alone Jiren. So what are you guys' opinions about this? Do you guys think that there's going to be a way to defeat these guys? Do you think they're actually going to lose and the whole theory about Universe 7 losing and that's why they're ending Dragon Ball is going to be happening? And just your overall thoughts about what exactly is happening because it's just really, really crazy how all of this is actually going on right now. And we're getting, you know, closer and closer towards the end. We have, like, I believe, like, five episodes left, which five minutes remaining. So that's all they really have for this one, guys. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys think there's a chance of winning? Do you think they're going to lose? How do you think they're even going to be able to defeat Topo, let alone Jiren? And just your overall thoughts of what exactly is going on. Like, this is really, really crazy. I didn't see any of this happening. I didn't expect Topo's God of Destruction power to be that strong to, you know, knock out Frieza that easily and maybe even knock out seven. 17 if anything happens in the next couple of episodes but with that being said guys that's all i really have for this one hopefully you guys did enjoy and like i'm saying the link to the actual other giveaway is going to be happening right at the end of this video so if you stick throughout the whole thing you will see what exactly i'm talking about or if you just skip to the end that's cool with me too so make sure you check that one out and like i'm saying with that being said i'll catch you all in the next dragon ball super and thank you guys so much for the support peace